Okay, hi. Welcome to the random stream. Um, I don't usually stream at this time, but I'm just jumping on Test Realm and playing some Beast Moon. And I just got a match, so I am I'm gonna stream that. Um so I'm really interested in trying out the Death Croc or the Fire Drac. That's my main aim. But if I don't get that, that's also okay. I do wanna sort of check out the map a bit more and suss out the whole like battling mobs for pips thing. It's a bit interesting. Um, I've had mixed reviews so far. I've had people hate it. I've had people like it. I think it's like fun to have variety in these maps, not gonna lie. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna, can I get Death Croc? Okay, Fire Drag's gone. Can I get it? Can I get it? Yes. Got it. Also, my brightness is so low. I can't see my screen at all. Okay. Is it a team of three? That's really weird. We must have been queued up for so long. I wonder if they do that when, um, I want to see this spell and I want to see these spells. Um, cause I haven't seen them yet. So I'm going to buy them and I'll try to get them out a bit quicker. Okay, so this is the map. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I found it fairly okay to sort of navigate. Uh, do I wanna go to a death? I'll go to the balance, I'll go this way. Um, like the Avalon map took me a full week of mayhem and hunt to sort of start to figure out. But this one isn't too bad. I'm gonna try this, this mob. Mmm, it's a heal or a weakness. I don't really want a weakness. I don't want to do this either. Okay, I'm going to pass. Hmm. I'm gonna put on the game music because it's actually really fun. And I'm gonna turn off the <laughs> the lo-fi, hang on. Cause it's really cute. Uh, can I, uh, can I do this spell? I don't need this. So it does 75 to you and then 200 over four. But so far, I've only had a chance. Everyone's been going for the fire drag really, really fast. So I've only gotten the chance to play Death Croc so far. Um, and I can't tear it up to tier like level five because I don't have Death Croc idols. And I don't know what the best way to go for them is. I don't know if uh, if like I do the Death Seed Seed um if I do Death <laughs> Death Moon Seed Gardening or if I just not bother. <laughs> Because I've already seen somebody do the Scarecrow spell and that was really scary. Yeah, it's a bit tricky to start the, these battles without pips, not gonna lie. Am I doing another DOT? I am. <laughs> so that's the 75 over 3. Oh, and it'll steal, but it's protected. So this is the steel animation. Yeah, okay. Nice. Huh, okay. And that's the afterlife effect taking uh, that just happened there. So we go back to base, there's a teleport, which is good, and then we collect pips there. How many was that? They were they got one each, I got one, and there's two left. So we got five pips from defeating the mob. 
So I wonder if it's the better move to... Yeah, so they've captured all the rings now. So we just spent like... I don't know, a few minutes defeating mobs for pips when we should have probably captured some rings. This map is so dark though. It makes all these like rings pop and it looks very pretty. Like it does. I really like the visuals. Um, it's just extremely dark and I can't see anything. I see a fire elf. Can we fight? I really want to play. Okay. So what happens if I join a mob battle? I'll, I'll try to go join that. I wonder if that's allowed. I'll capture this and then I'm going to head this way down to that life battle. So if I'm on the blue team and he's on the red team, am I allowed to join? No, okay, so you can't join. That's just their battle now. Hmm, okay, well that's interesting. I'm gonna go for Moon. Yeah, I, I don't know, it's a fun mechanic. I'm glad that they've like added something new to Beast Moon, keeping like the variety happening and keeping it a little bit more interesting, I guess. Oh, I better go to Sun Star. As if there's four on the other team. It's a 3v4. Like, it actually. That's pretty gross. Does anyone take Tester on Beast Moon that seriously, though? I've just been sort of. Like. <laughs> just, like, trying to cast all of the spells, not actually sort of strategizing that hard. Okay, there's a chest. I'm sure that'll be the same. Yeah, coins and cards, yeah. But I've seen people say there's no room for these like battles on the map when there definitely is. Like on all of the maps there's definitely room for these little battles. Like on um like they use the same oh. Okay, I'll pass. Um, they use the same maps for Mayhem and Hunt, and there's always like these like labeled rings, but then there's like these other outside battles that insp like they're the uh, inspire to cast spells for the spiral, and they're always not here. So there's definitely room for these like mobs to exist on every map. Um, and I wonder if this will be like permanent on all of the maps or just on this one. But I don't know, I think, um, cause I just hate going, like waiting for pips and trying to find them. I would rather do combat. I think that's more fun. And it can benefit the rest of your team if they go back to base. And it also means like you, like after this, you go back to base and get health and get pips if there's still pips there. So you could like bank them up if there's sort of time. Yeah, I'm not sure what the strat is, to be honest. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try this spell. So it's a afterlife trap. So if I put it on the, I put it on the drag. Okay, so, oh, is that the little minion? <gasps> That's so cute. Okay, so this is the afterlife. So it looks like it will go off once. So this track, okay. So 
So it puts... Oh, okay. So I was wondering why Death Croc didn't have any traps, but that seems to be it. So this little elf is dead. I'm going to get rid of these. Is this an AoE? It's an AoE. I don't need this either, so I'm just going to have to pass. Because <laughs> I, I just tried to buy all the spells that I wanted to see. That little minion was very cute. I'm more interested in what sort of spells it has. Oh. Oh my gosh, okay. Hmm. Just me passing. Oh my gosh. So who should I go for? Probably the ice if I have a little little spell. This will okay, I'm gonna see if this will actually So if I hit the I mean if I wait, what is this? Two hundred plus two fifty. Yeah, if I hit the death croc, is this going to... I mean, I'm probably dead anyway. Uh, yeah, so if I do that much damage to myself, what happens? I think I just die. It still goes off though, okay, so it is like a sacrifice. But it's not a good choice ever. <laughs> Imagine. Okay. Um. <laughs> so this is some pretty horrific gameplay. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder if like you can't get a Q in Beast Moon, or you can't get a match in Beast Moon, and you just do three v three. Because I've seen like um. Go for, go for the life mob, I think. Um, because I've definitely seen like 5v5s, like that happens all the time at sort of quiet times. But would it get that low if there's only a few people queued? I think I'll go for some pips though. I'm not gonna go for the death. Um, no, no. So I will. 75 and steel. I mean, I'll probably get another trolls anyway. But these DITs are nice against life because they boost 25 every time. So instead of doing 75, this is going to do 150 over 3. So that just did 50. Yeah. For zero pips. Okay, a heal over time and a blade. So what have I got? I can clear the blade. Or I can 75 and steal. Hmm, I might try to clear the blade next round. I'll 75 and steal this round. Ugh. <laughs> so there is a solution to it, like to these sort of heal over times. But, um,. So yeah, steal it. This is the animation for stealing, okay. Huh, okay, all right, that's all right. But I can clear the blade now, I think. I don't really, I don't really want this. 200 and clear? Yeah. So that will 225. And that should get rid of one blade. Yeah, okay, nice. Mm. Man, the music on this map. Okay, so that got rid of... That prevented that heal, which is good. But it looks like he'll AoE next. So maybe... 75 and 250 and um, 200 over 4. Also a move. Hmm. But I think we've got him this round.
Nice. Next round, maybe. <laughs> maybe next round. I need to... No. I mean, I can heal. Hey, Chris. How are you? Or I just pass. <laughs> I, just, I don't know, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how you been? Have you tried test yet? I'm just playing with it. The death croc has been pretty fun so far. It's the only one I've gotten because people have been going for the fire drag. But there's this, um, like you have to defeat mobs to get pips, which is a really random mechanic, but it's fun. I kind of like it, not gonna lie. And then you go back to base and there's pips here. 2BH, I probably prefer it to waiting around um, like waiting around the map and trying to wait for pips to spawn and not having pips when you start battles. Like I'm not the biggest fan of that. But we're losing really badly. It's a 3v4 and my team has three. But yeah, I'm interested in how people start to play this because like you need pips to battle but you also need to capture some rings. So like the move might be to go for these two and then go in and do one of like do one of the mob battles or have somebody with a lot of damage go and do a mob battle and get the pips really quickly. I don't know. Okay, I'll go for star. This map has also been good thing it's only in, it's only test, yeah. <laughs> um this map has been a lot easier to navigate. There's not like a lot of sort of complex teleports and I mean, there's teleports, but there's not like bridges and things that are really confusing. Like it, it's also really dark. So you can like from this, from this ring, is he going to fight me? I think he is. Yeah. From this ring, like I can see the other two rings on the other corners so I can like get to them fairly quickly. And that makes a lot of sense to me. Hmm. I can... I sort of want to play this, I want to see how it works, but uh, I can weakness or I can DOT. I mean, I'll weakness. You're just ready for mayhem? Yeah, no. Oh, Tuesday. Oh, that's so soon. What are we up to? Friday? Yeah, no, that's soon. That's really soon. Do you know, do you know what, um, what forms are available? I think it's spirit. Let me take a look. Um, the last update notes, I think they were in. Da, 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 da. Game update. Okay, here we go. I can 200. Yeah, I'll 200. What else? What can everyone else do? Uh, game update. Unless you've got it in the chat. Oh, you know Tara? Yeah, I've seen Tara around a lot. She's been, um... Yeah, she must be good. Wait, no. November... Oh, is there a summer update as well? I didn't know that. Okay. Um, so that's why we're only getting two new forms because it's not actually that far away. Um, craftable is Life Fairy, Death Cyclops, Myth, Drag. Are there any that you're going to go for? Um, like next time. Hey! Hey, Cam! How are you? I'm playing some Beast Moon in Test. It's really fun. Oh, someone's playing Storm Stormcroc. How you been? Sorry, I haven't been streaming much the past few days, but I'm on now. Okay, I really want to. I really want to cast this spell, but I don't think I have the. Who's more important to get rid of here? Or can I? Should I heal? Hmm. One hundred and clear shield. Uh, I'll, I'll heal. You're going for all of them? Okay, nice. Uh, nice. Yeah, Mayhem's a lot easier to, like, max out on all your characters as well. You can just sort of do it in, like, one or two days. Whereas, like, Hunt, you have to, like, do all the ring captures on separate days. And that's not... <laughs> I don't really like that. It takes longer. So, yeah, in terms of, like, progress bar, definitely prefer... Um, mayhem. 
but Hunter's like more fun for sort of the PvP aspect and it feels easier to get Lunari. Like if you if you're on a bad team, you still get you still get it. You still you still sort of win. It's like the stakes are a bit lower. Um I mean I can do this. Or I'll no, I should do this really. Who's everyone going for? I think the fire is scarier. Yeah, I'll do 200. <laughs> uh, test drum's nasty because everyone's playing like level 5 forms but what I have like enjoyed in test realm is that people like if they're losing they flee like they actually leave the match whereas in live realm people like drag out these means so much how's my day my day's good my day's good it's been a nice day so far i have a day off uh should i flee should i flee i mean I, these guys probably still have it i don't know um but yeah i've had the day off had a really nice morning gonna go out tonight test like um playing um playing some wizard a bit earlier today just so i can get a stream in because i haven't streamed in like four days and I feel really bad. What about you? How's how's your day going? Or your night? Whatever time of day it is for you. I hope your your day is immaculate. I oh no, I don't want to do this. I'm trying to remember your line. I hope the vibes here are as immaculate as you are. And welcome to the the um chaotic location that is my stream. Need a need a need a need a placeholder for campfire. Okay, we won. Okay, now I need to go back to base, which is on the other side of the map. It's okay. How do I get there? I mean, I can go for this one, but I have no pip and no health. Like, I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try. Um, but yeah, if um, if Blaze gets online later I love I love Jojo's Bizarre streams thanks thanks I had work this morning and then came home and slept till now nice nice how was work how was your sleep I hope you feel rested you talk about how you did you were talking in your other stream about how you only sleep for like three four hours a night and I can't imagine okay I need to go to base I feel like I could get a lot more bizarre than what I do now. Because at the moment it's just me sort of talking to myself and then losing my mind. But it, it could get it could get a lot weirder. I think there's still room for that. But what do you think of the map? Um, work is work, I guess. Nice to do something. But it's all... Yeah, damn. I'm gonna go for this this life mob. I do like that there's mobs in Hunt though. Like I, I like that it is sort of starting to bridge the gap between PVE and PVP a bit more, rather than just having like mayhem and Hunt really separate. Oh, is it double pet XP? No, I didn't know that. Oh. 
What are you going for? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know what I should make. Because I've already got the myth pet that I want. And I'm I'm not doing decathlon this week. I refuse. I do not want to. And I don't really want to go for the Ice Kraken uh, May cast pet just yet. I mean, I've, I've like got a pet with Ice Kraken on it. Should I heal? I mean, I, I just, I'm just going to pass. Um, with Ice Kraken on it, but I don't have the talent tokens to unlock it. But I don't know. I don't know what other sort of pet to go for. Unless I know somebody with like a good plucky griffin. I don't think I'll hatch. Ugh, I don't know. You're working on an ice pet? Nice. Do you play in ice? I didn't know. I just seen you speed running your, um, your life. I'm going to do, uh, uh, <laughs> I'll do, I'll do this one. It's 75 damage to you and then, uh, um, and then 200 over four, but because it's a life, it'll do, uh, another hundred. It'll do 300 over four. Uh, yes or no right now. I'm not doing ice, but um, once I finish my life, probably going to do an ice. Okay, fun. Fun, fun, fun. I don't want this. I want to... Uh, I'll get rid of the blade. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the move. Yeah, I think I want to make a pet before I make my next character. I might start working on a life pet. What, what, what's, um, what do you recommend going for for a life pet? Is it like triple-double or, or are there better ideas? Maybe like double-double mighty? Or just go f quaint damage. I'm not sure exactly what the move is there. Oh. I mean, I could sacrifice here. I could do this. Oh no, I don't have the. I don't have the pips. I don't want to do this. I could heal, or I could. Oh, he's already got a weakness. I can heal. Yeah. Use triple double might mighty. Okay, okay. A mighty jewel's easy to find, or is it better to sock it like a damage talent? Because I don't think I've ever seen a mighty jewel. I find it really hard to find them. Meta doesn't call for damage anymore, but it's not terrible. Okay. Damn, that's annoying. Yeah, I might start going for like weird talents. But crit on pets in like low levels is really fun. I've enjoyed that a lot. Because you'll just be like in Crocotopia and then you'll accidentally crit sometimes and then the battle takes half the amount of time. Better off socketing a damage talent and getting money in the pool. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Uh, I've got 200. This is taking a while though. This has taken like quite a few rounds to get it and then they've captured all the rings around the edges. So I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but I, I mean, it's a th it's a th three person team, so I feel like it'd be a lot quicker with like actual, no, an actual sort of full team. One, two, three, four. How many? Yeah, so we got five pips from defeating the mob, which seems kind of. I don't know. I'm one. I wonder if that's going to be balanced on a team of six. It's so easy to find the rings though, like look, like you can see this from a mile off. Oh no, this is the spiral. I'll go for it. It'll, it'll be fine. But yeah, I've heard a lot of people saying that the map is really large, but I don't know, is it, it doesn't, it feels expensive, but it just feels way easier to navigate than all of the other maps. Or maybe I've just been playing Beast Moon long enough that it's like less less difficult now what's that oh so that's a bar a boss okay so does the number of pips mad depend on that's pretty weird so that's a rank one and that's a rank two elite so i wonder if that'll if you defeat the boss then that will give you more pips when you and i can't join this because it's yeah he's got it that's really interesting. Or I, if it just if it always just gave five pips, there wouldn't be any reason to fight the bosses though. 
Do they drop stuff too, though? Like, that you can... Like, runes and spellments and stuff. Has the other guy gone? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a 2v4. Disgusting. We'll just capture some rings and wait for them to win. Um, it's cool to see some swift wisps in the game again. How do you get up there? Up this way? Where does this lead to? Does this go anywhere? Huh? Can you see the whole map from here though? Sort of. I mean, you can see like a lot of it. Wait, this way? That's really random though. Like what is up there? <laughs> Just swift wisps, wisps so you can... I mean, you can port to the other side of the map from there. Okay, I mean, that that seems... That seems fun. I do want to fight a boss, though, and see what they give. But it's death. Uh, okay, so they've got... Pi they're going... They've got their pips. It's also... You can also tell, like, when the other team has got pips and when they don't. If they've like been doing these battles and where they're sort of going, because you can see that, and it's less about it's more about like who strategized better and like got these battles done, rather than who just like got to the pips on the random places in the maps quicker. So it does like add another dimension to this game that I like. It might be more fun, rather than like annoying if somebody just like runs to the pip quicker. Or you could just, yeah, I don't know. I can definitely see just like a very strong form, like a Mithrat or somebody with a lot of damage just doing these mob battles around the edges and banking up pips for your team. But it might start incentivizing people to play like larger forms that don't carry so many pips. What? There was a boss somewhere here that I sort of want to fight. Not this one, the other one. He just, is he going for it? Oh no, he went around. Okay, I just got... yeah. <laughs> so I think on my own I'll probably die. Not gonna lie. I don't need these or this. I mean I can... Whoa, he's really big. Okay. That's really scary on a mayhem map. On a, um, like a hunt map. Everybody would have to join for this. It's cool he doesn't have minions though. That's good. But I don't think I'm gonna survive that long. But I wonder what the payoff would be, like if you got a boss early on, how quickly. Uh, I'll get, I'll do, I'll do some, do some DOTs. But yeah, a boss on a map like this, that's pretty scary. And then you'd have to have like four of your team here, or like a lot of your team here fighting, fighting the boss. And then you just become like vulnerable very quickly. So if you like, lo I mean, it might make matches go a bit quicker. Not gonna lie. But yeah, on my own, I definitely don't have the damage to get him. With a, like a myth route though, or like a hard hitting myth, um, a myth form, it'd be good. But it'll definitely ch make the like, uh, well, the sort of more defensive forms are really useless. I think. Uh, I mean, I'll do this. I'll do the two fifty. Um, so like, it'll be like the strong mayhem forms, like the myth rat, storm croc, storm wolf. 
Oh, who else? Storm Elf. Mainly the storms. And, like, it'll make fire with DOTs a bit less good because it takes more time. So it'll be the, all this, like, time strategy stuff. So, like, ice forms in these mob battles, pretty useless. Ooh. And then you can discard all your AoEs too in these like single mob battles. But it does add like a 1v something. Because 1v1ing like a PvP is. It's an easy matchup thing that you just sort of know how it's gonna go. Um. I can do another one of these. Or I can do a heal. I'll do another one. Yeah. So it's like a 1v whatever, and then a 2v2s, 3v3s, and a 4v4. Like that sort of spread is sort of cool. There's like more variety in the same map. You can imagine it being sort of overwhelming to start with though. I need to heal. I don't have any. I don't have any health. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I might keep that. I'll keep this. I'll if I, if I hit for fifty and die. Yeah. So this is fifty. Do I just die? Like, cause that happens in regular game. I. Oh no. No no no. That works. Okay. So if you're on like less than like significantly less than fifty health, that. Is a fun move. But you have to be alive to start with. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you, if it's just a 1v1 and you use that sacrifice spell. Do you still win if like you dropped all of your health and I mean I can heal or I can, like I can't do that. Maybe I should heal again. And this is for zero pips as well, which is pretty wild. Mm. And then heals. Okay. Yeah. What have I got? I can heal again, or I can 200 over four. Well, are they gonna win? <laughs> They're dominating. So is this working? Like they should be gaining points right now. But yeah, it, this like this whole bit definitely leaves your whole team vulnerable if like everybody's in a mob battle. Like they can dominate really fast. Also, there's this tick that's broken, it's just hanging there. A bit weird. Oh, if I do this, if he doesn't hit me, will that hit me for much larger than I was expecting? Oh he did hit me, that's alright. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> So that'll do another, that'll continue to tick, that'll take two rounds. I'll pass. But yeah, the other team is not dominating, which is pretty weird. I wonder if they've taken that out or that's like a bug. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, nice. We might have to go capture some rings. Wait, how did that, how do we just lose? Oh, do they get points for, I don't know. I don't know how they got those last few points. That was pretty weird. I wonder if they got points for winning this battle. 
Cool. 5,000 Lunar, I imagine. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you have thoughts on the new map, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. And if you would like to join me to play some Beast Moon or watch some Beast Moon, I stream it over at twitch.tv forward slash Jordan Song 101 when it's on. Alright, bye!